Hi, Susie Palm here again. I was just chatting to Libby and the door knocked and it was the postman. <clears throat> and I've been on eBay and, and there's, I got a couple of small bears and stuff, but they were all from, as far as I know, they were all from here um, in the UK. Um, and one of them had gone astray slightly or whatever. But this isn't this typical just in the Dolly world. You're, you're waiting and waiting, not quite as long for bears as BJDs, but still, and then they all come at once. So I've got three boxes here. I've opened, let me show you, let me move the camera again. I've kind of opened, but not, if you know what I mean. So let's get into it. I'm going to move you around here. Um, and I don't know which is which in here and what bear and what not. One of the boxes says there's custom documents on the front, which is really weird. Oh, looky I look. Okay, for those of you that don't know, you probably, most of you don't know, I have a thing about pandas. Look at the oh he's way bigger than I thought he would be. Oh look at this guy. He is just look at that face. He's not a Charlie Bear. I think he's a Cotswold bear. Let me see. Oh well look look at his look, look at his pendant. He is, let me see, he is We Be Bears, an original creation from We Be Bears. There, I see, can you see that? Look at that face. Ah, such an unusual, yeah, his head moves. He's jointed. He's kind of lanky. Look at that. <laughs> He's gorgeous. And of course, mohair. He is actually bigger than Knickknack, which I totally did not expect. Look at that face. Oh, he is beautiful. Hi. Okay. <gasps> So pleased. His medallion is just beautiful. Nice. Uh, let me see here. Really pretty. It's like three dimensional. Look, see that? Oh. Uh, he was an eBay find. These, uh, if you can find them, go for a lot more than I paid for them. But, oh, so pleased. Okay, he's going to sit over here with the dollies. And I'm going to get the next box or bag. There's a bag here. Okay, again, I have opened it a little bit. Just enough to get in there and... I don't know which one this is. Yeah. Little note on the front says thank you. And <laughs> and I got some tea bags with it. Oh my gosh. Okay. This, this is not a teddy bear. This is a girl on um, Instagram cocoon dolls. And I got a little tiny, let me show you. Um, I think she calls them imps. 
off her and it's I thought this was lost. <sighs> okay. And this I know I think she I'm not sure where she is. I'll link her below. Okay, how do we get into here? I uh, Okay. Okay, you're seeing with me. Nice little box though, isn't it? Really pretty. Cocoon dolls. And I think this is her little COA. Let's see. Alright. What? She is my new. Oh no, that's her COA in there. She is way smaller than I thought she would be. Let me get her out of there. You know when you have it in your head that they're a certain size? Cut. Because I just pictured her just a little bit thicker than this. Mm hmm. Ooh. Oh my gosh, though. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. Oh, wow. Jeez. This girl is so freaking tiny. Have a look. Oh, her legs all twisted around. Wow. Oh, look at the size of this girl. But look at that tiny little figure on those feet. Look. Look at that little butt. Okay, hang on. Oh my word. Tiny, tiny little thing. She is not the size that I expected. Even when you see the measurements, she is really darling though. Those, for the size of her, Look at those details. Wow. And she's fully body blushed. Wow, wow. Oh my goodness, so tiny. Look at that butt. I will put her details down below when I'm done. Okay, well, that explains that tiny little box. Okay, putting her away very carefully. There is another box down here. Okay, so this last box has got... Big customs documents. You see that? Which kind of scares me because <sighs> I mean, it's obviously a, a bear, but I don't, you know, with this Brexit thing, United Kingdom is now on its own in the world. You know, we should never have left the European Union. Uh, I know I'm only here five minutes again, but from what I can see, it's going to be a problem. I mean, even in the shops at the minute, 
shelves. I was in Marks and Spencer's the other day. And the shelves, they weren't empty, but they certainly weren't stocked to the same level as they would normally have been. And I said to the girl, you know, what's up with the with the shelves? Don't tell me we're panic buying again. And she said, no, I don't believe so. She says we're having trouble getting goods into actually getting the goods driven in to us as you know Ireland is a little island on its own and the top half is Northern Ireland where I am we are still under United Kingdom rule so um, so while everything goes down south because they're still in the U uh, European Union up here is a different matter always have to be different up here but anyway uh, the girl had said no that she feels that it's not necessarily pandemic or consequences of the pandemic it is because of Brexit uh, and I was trying to explain to Brittany um, about how that affects okay what have we got okay this is one oh this is the this is one of the Cotswold if you've never heard of I know you all know what Charlie bears are but I was always drawn to Cotswold bears and this I had been following on eBay this is the one that I thought had gone astray I actually nearly got into it with the seller because she wasn't very forthcoming with information when I couldn't get any tracking or anything but okay I'm pretty sure this is the first Cotswold that I bought this this time around I think it is oh and goodies okay I don't know why there I had got to check why there are customs documents on it and there's uh it's like Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. She sent some Harry Bows. I'll have a go at those later. Okay. Okay. So he's in here in tissue paper. Uh, I've got everything sitting on this desk. I have been you know me, I give anything to go and I'm not a sewer, but I have been trying to make my own bear this is um, just a pattern I've been making that's why it looks terrible it's just very plain material for me to try and get the shape of the head and I wanted a polar bear a small polar bear and all the polar bears that I saw were all plushies and I really want a firmer one a certain size and I thought screw it I'll make my own or try so this is a pattern I've been that I've adjusted from a regular teddy bear pattern so we're having to go with that and that's all over the desk here so okay something else in here just hold on there no idea now I feel kind of bad because I give her a hard time already there's two so and he was a good price Oh, okay. This is his hat. He was one of the circus collections. So I'm kind of glad that his hat is not permanently on his head because I'm not one for dressing the bears. I don't like to see any animal. I never, even Magnolia, when I had her, the most she got was the jacket in a cold day. I just don't think animals should be dressed up and paraded. I mean, um, some of you know I was a zookeeper here for a while. And uh, that's I have a, a huge respect for animals, and I just, dressing them for me is, to, oh my gosh. Okay, let me bring them up again. Oh, oh, look at that face. This is the one. I'm so glad he's here. This is a... Um, 
These are the Cotswold. Oh my goodness. These are the Cotswold bears. There is. Can you see this? I know the light is terrible in here, but. Can you see that? Hold on. Don't know if that makes any difference. But. Sorry, I'm all over the place here. Look at that face. So, I really like the shape of these guys. And he is mohair. And he is fully jointed. And I think if you're going to invest, I'm no bear expert at all. I know a little bit. I used to have an antique store over here as well. So, um, if you're going to collect bears for real, then, you know, uh, mohair and jointed and preferably German. This guy is, uh, I think, I think his head rotates, I'm not going to even force it, um, his head rotates and he can actually be in this position and then you know the hell you can position that to look up I'm not too sure I'll try it later on but he is solid and again bigger than I expected for some reason so my little doll and two of my other bears let me grab the this guy is so he's got whomy eyes as well Look, those big old bears together. Oh, hi, buds. So that's a nice afternoon. Now I gotta do some tidying up. Cute, both of them. I I mean they're so different in style. Look at this guy. Isn't he just, and he kind of rotates. Oh, he needs a brush. I'm going to brush him. Brush your bears. Look at that. He is so handsome. Think about pandas. What can I say? And then this little guy, I have another two Cotswold bears coming in I think maybe three no two and, an, and a stife coming in so he is in the gesture collection oh let me see where's his hat mm. not that he's gonna wear it he's not but mm cute and he's got a rough on I don't know if you can make that out there jester collection he's called uh, Sparky and he is I said nine he's bear number 99 out of a hundred so he's a penultimate bear yeah, I'm not a hat fan. There. I like the hats on the dolls, but not on the bears. Okay. That's it. I will do a box opening for the others when they come in. Alrighty. Bye.